It has been a very, very long fight for women to be really treated equally, and that fight hasn't ended yet, even here in the West. I'm really very grateful for your presence here today in this International Women's Day networking reception. Number two, the second one that the Chamber of Commerce organizes. One year ago, in this very, in this very location, we recognized and celebrated the invaluable contribution of the female talent within our network. We are thrilled to announce that our commitment has materialized into tangible actions. The second initiative, which we will talk about today, has also materialized into a project that includes a women's perception survey, the results of which I'm thrilled to share with you today. 66% of women believe they do not have the same opportunities than men in terms of promotion and professional development. 68% of women believe they are more likely to experience discrimination in the workplace. And finally, 69% of women believe there is no real equality in terms of wages. I'm in a profession, diplomacy, that has long overlooked and sidelined the talents and contribution of women. Women weren't admitted to the diplomatic service until 1946, and until 1973, we had to resign if we got married. Gender equality is central to FCDO's mission overseas, and why I'm so happy to have the role of leading FCDO's international women and girls strategy.